International Journal of Health Policy and Management Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Hello, my name is Eric Koifel of the Health Finance and Access Initiative, and along with Kate Talenko and Wanda Jaskowitz of InterHealth International and Campus on Tepenia, of the Ministry of Health at the Lao People's Democratic Republic, we conducted a cost-effectiveness analysis of rural health incentive packages for graduating medical students in the Lao People's Democratic Republic. As is the case in many developing countries, the share of the population that lives in rural areas, about two-thirds in the case of Laos, exceeds the proportion of health workers that practice in rural areas. So in Laos, about 23% of physicians practice in rural areas, 47% of medical assistants, and 60% of nurses practice in rural areas. So given this situation, Laos partnered with InterHealth International and with support from USAID and collaboration from WHO, a survey was conducted, a discrete choice survey, which helped understand how physicians and medical students, the physicians of tomorrow in Laos, value potential incentives that would encourage them to take residence and work in rural areas. In addition to this, there was a costing survey which estimated how much it would cost to provide those types of incentives. And with this, we were able to use a discrete choice experiment which would look at behavior of future physicians under different conditions, under different incentive packages. So we're not just trying to motivate them with salary here. We're also trying to motivate them with other types of incentives. Some of them are financial in nature, but it's not salary. And it might be more effective to use these other incentives. We wanted to investigate that question. And we then took the extra step of thinking, well, given the results from the survey, and given our estimated sh new shares of physicians and health workers that would be in rural areas based on the survey, if we offer these new incentives and the cost of that, what would the health benefit be in population health terms? And so we looked to a World Health Organization study which examined health worker density and outcomes for major health categories such as maternal health and child health to help us try and map out what we thought the health impact would be over time. That allows us to think about and evaluate cost effectiveness of 15 different incentive packages that run into consideration.